Greetings, this is Pastor Lenita, and I'm reaching out to all of you who uh, signed up for the Dominion Business and Entrepreneurs Network. I want to let you know that I have asked uh, Brother Sam Marshall and Sister Angela uh, to make sure that we continue to meet uh, as a group. Why do we need to continue to meet as a group? Because our vision is to equip you, equip believers in business for Marketplace Dominion, and maximum profit and impact for the kingdom of God. Minister James came in. He opened our eyes. He enlightened us. He motivated us. But we have to keep this going. And so I heard that some of you had questions from the call about why the group needs to meet. We need to meet because we have to establish this vision. We have to dominate in the marketplace. And there is still much more that we need to learn. And also, we need to encourage each other. We need to be accountable to each other. We need to organize the network so that we can achieve occasionally bring in other businessmen like Minister James. Other people can come in. We can have seminars to take us higher in our businesses. We might want to do focus seminars just on marketing. We might want to do focus seminars just on sales. And so we need to continue the good work that has started. We need to be reading books about how to grow our business. Uh, I would like for this group, the network, to, to create a list of books for us to be reading uh, for the rest of the year. We can start with Minister Jane's book, God You Said. But there are the books that we need to be reading, like Thou Shalt Prosper, which is by a Jewish rabbi. Uh, that is one of the books that we need to be reading. We need to read Think and Grow Rich if we have not read that yet. So there are many things that this network uh, needs to be doing. I want us to reach out uh, to other churches and invite them uh, to the class, the six-week class that we're going to have uh, with Minister James. And so uh, we need to, first of all, establish uh, the frequency of our meetings. Uh, hopefully all of you got the vision and mission document so you see the vision written down. But we want to equip believers in business to dominate in the marketplace and have maximum profit and impact. We are in business to make money. We are in business, first of all, to finance the kingdom. But we can't do that if our businesses aren't making money. And so we need to stay accountable to each other. We need to uh, get further equipping uh, so that our businesses can be successful and our businesses can actually make money. So I want the network to continue to meet on a regular basis, whether that's once every other month or once a quarter. Um, but we have to be meeting because I don't want Minister James to come back and we have not done anything. So before the six week class starts uh, on May 21st, there are three things that everybody in the network needs to do. Uh, the first thing is that you need to commit your business vision and mission to paper. Uh, you, you can go online, you can consult resources on how to write a vision statement, how to write a mission statement. And I expect that uh, the network will share those things with each other, that you'll be in communication and say, hey, I found this great resource on how to write a vision statement, a mission statement. I want to share that with the other businessmen and women in the network. The next thing that we need to do after we commit the vision and mission statement to paper is that we need to come to the next network meeting with a million dollar business card and brochure or a business card and one other piece of marketing collateral. Many of you saw Minister Jane's business card. It is something of quality. It is something that you have to think twice before you throw it away. And uh, we want each and every business person in the Dominion Business and Entrepreneurs Network to have a business card that is a million dollar business card. So you have to work on that. And we want to be able to do that before he comes back. We can't. We got to have movement. God responds to what? To movement. And so we've got to have movement. And then third, we want to come to the next meeting with a one to two minute elevator pitch for your business. An elevator pitch explains your business uh, very briefly in 60 seconds. Around 60 seconds, you want to be able to talk to anybody that you meet on the street, in the elevator, in the grocery store. And you want to very, be able to very concisely and clearly and come and with some compelling uh, statements, tell them about your business and why they should be interested. And so those are the three things that we want everybody in the network to be able to do uh, before May 21st. Now, the class, the six-week class with Minister James is going to start on May 21st. It's going to be Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And it is $45. 
So between now and May 21st, you want to set aside some of your think your your nails, your hair money, your McDonald's money, your Starbucks money. You want to set that aside and invest in six weeks with Minister James for your business. OK, so the network needs to continue. We need to meet every other month, once a quarter to be uh, uh, making sure that we are going higher in our business. We need to be in communication, sharing resources. We need to be inviting other Christian business persons and entrepreneurs to join this network. Listen, the Bible says that whatsoever we sow, we'll reap. But he says that God will cause men and women to give into our bosom. So we need to be about networking. Uh, your next business breakthrough might come through another person. And so we want to establish this network to equip believers in business for maximum profit and impact in the marketplace. We want to dominate in the marketplace. And so that is the vision uh, for uh, this network. And uh, we're going to do that by continued training. We're going to continue to bring people like Minister James back. Uh, and so uh, we want to make sure that uh, we are networking. We're continuing to meet. We're holding each other accountable. We're encouraging one another. We're sharing resources and that we take care of those three things before Minister James comes back. All right. So you can register for the class. You can pay online at the church website. You can give uh, anybody from the finance team a check and tell them it's for the six week class with Minister James. Uh, but we have until May 21st to get that done. And I think that it's very reasonable for six week of classes. We are a learning church. Leaders are readers and leaders keep learning. And that is the culture that we are uh, going to maintain. So I hope that you are as excited as I am uh, about the network. I think it's phenomenal. I think that um, the weekend that we had with Minister James was absolutely phenomenal. I am doing things in my own business, trying to get things together as a result of him having been with us. And uh, I hope that you are doing the same. Let's go make some money for the kingdom. We are in business to do what? To make money. And God responds to what? Movement. He said he would give us the power to get wealth that we might establish his covenant. So let's be speaking. Let's be uh, proclaiming. And let's make sure that we start reading Minister James' book. I think that should be the first book for the network. And so part of our meeting together is to uh, share insights from that reading, share resources with one another, uh, hold each other accountable to go further in our business, share uh, your vision and mission statement with people in the network, bounce off our ideas, get feedback, practice your elevator pitch. Those are reasons why we need to be meeting. OK, so I want it to be clear to everybody. I want us to continue uh, and take advantage of the momentum uh, that we have from Minister James having been with us. God bless you. I believe that God is going to raise up millionaires from this group of business, uh, this group of business people. So this network is uh, apostolic. God is doing new things. God is establishing new things and God is taking us higher. So let's all be a part and let's all join in with what God is doing. God bless you. I'll see you Friday night, tomorrow night in church. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bye-bye.